charge of discharge of rhyme. Greedy comics, toys are hella sick, hell whacking it. Take a bad hit, take a bad hit, start a mess. Uh, subscribe machine for domains. Side from the other side. Hulk butt. Hey, what's up you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another Star Wars action figure review on the Jack specific Star Wars The Force Awakens 18 inch Captain Phasma. Picked this up at Force Friday. Big thanks to Mr. Phils for making sure I got this. You know, we all rushed over to the aisle and everything after waiting for a couple hours. And here she is. I'm very, very excited to have this. I know it's not the most accurate looking Captain Phasma. I could already tell she's mostly made with gray plastic as opposed to, you know, the chrome look that we saw in the trailer. But anyway, look on the side, you can see kind Kylo Ren, and on the very back over here, it says it has seven points of articulation, and then there's a read-up that says, Clad in distinctive metallic armor, Captain Phasma commands the First Order's legions of troopers. And then on the other side over here, we get Kylo Ren again, and then at the bottom, not much going on. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Captain Phasma out of the packaging, not looking too different to how she looked in the packaging. There's not that much packaging going on. Uh, this character over here, I'm very interested in. I just think she looks very cool. The moment I saw this character in the trailer, I was like, oh, that is badass. That is awesome. And then to find out it's a female character, I think it's even cooler. So I'm really stoked about seeing this character in the movie. Uh, I really like this design. I like that we get the soft goods cape on this figure. That looks really good. Now there's parts of the figure that are just flat out gray plastic. And that's a little bit of a bummer because there's other parts of the figure where you actually see some silver. So I wish they had gone with a little bit more silver. But otherwise, I think the paint and the sculpt is okay throughout. Anyway, let's take a closer look at her one accessory. And then We'll take a closer look at Captain Phasma. So there's a look at Captain Phasma's blaster over here, and I like it. it. Looks pretty good. Same design as we'd seen on the Stormtroopers. The First Order Stormtrooper has a similar design. So you can see there's that piece sticking out right over there. I believe this is a more colored, uh, like bronze or copper color, right? And the Black Series Captain Phasma in Wave 2 looks like it's going to have more of a copperish colored blaster over here. And I checked the trailer again, and it's really hard to tell, but it did look like there was more of like a yellowish hue in the blaster. But this is looking pretty good. I mean, you can see all these screws over here here, which are a little obnoxious, but you know, for what you're getting over here, and it's pretty hollow. And I think the black paint apps came out pretty nicely, and I really do like all the etched out details right here in the sculpt. Unfortunately, a little bit of wear from her holding it. Now, she does have these two little pegs that stick out right over here, and she has ports on her hip, so just like the Hasbro 6-inch Black Series figures, you can't attach this to her hip, and there it goes, so that stays pretty nicely. Unfortunately, it is a little tricky getting her to hold the blaster. Uh, you can see her hand, you know, has an open spot right over there. So let's try to get that in there. Yeah, come on. There it goes. So, ooh, that did not sound good. But yeah, and I actually like to have this part turned inward right here. So I think that looks a little bit better. And she can hold it in her other hand just as well. So as I mentioned earlier, I really like the helmet sculpt for Phasma over here. I just think this looks really good. I really like the plastic choice for the helmet specifically. It does look a bit more shimmery, a little bit more silver than the rest of the figure. The rest of the figure looking like a very flat gray. You can see there's just a little bit of sparkly right there in the plastic. It's kind of hard to pick up, but I think it looks really good. Then looking at the back of the helmet you can see she has these lines coming down through the back and I like how she's designed just slightly differently than the stormtroopers you know I think that's pretty neat but coming around looking over here some nice details nice glossy black paint I really like that a lot came out very clean looking I just think this is really really cool very very excited for Captain Phasma yeah, look at that. She looks menacing. And then when you look at the torso over here, it is very similar to how the head sculpt looks. It's not like there's a huge difference, but you can tell this is a little bit more of a gray plastic, and you can see some of the marbling right there, which, you know, either way, I'm not really too upset about it on this particular figure. Uh, I like how that she has a soft goods cape. You can see that it has this nice stitched red trim on it, so I think that's very cool. And it's attached around the neck in a way so that it's leaning off to the side, so it's pretty accurate from what we've seen so far. Looking on the back, there's no trim or anything right here on this side but yeah pretty nice looking cape and looking at the rest of Phasma over here I just really like the sculpt a lot it looks like they really made her upper torso kind of long especially compared to the stormtroopers that I saw or the jack specific 18 inch ones I really like the hands this is actually probably one of my favorite parts about the color gray that we see over here this is a very nice silvery kind of gray color that we see on the hands so I wish we had gotten that more on the figure and it's very subtle you know you can't really see the difference too much but as I darken my settings you can see that's a little bit more shimmery than this right over here so yeah I wish we We'd gotten a little bit more of that color going on. And here's her legs right here. 
Nice Captain Phasma does, and yeah, looking not too bad. And then here's a look at the back of the figure. I like how they have those textured areas right there around the joints. So it looks like it's got that Stormtrooper rubbery material. She has all those pouches and everything on her belt and everything, the canister on the back. And she has all these screws right over here on her back, which kind of look annoying, but it's mostly hidden. And she has one screw right in there. Yeah, so just like that one Iron Man figure Sean Long has, Captain Phasma likes to get screwed in the butt. Now for articulation, Phasma does not have much going on at all. You can rotate the head side to side over here. Uh, her arms move forward and back. You could rotate the wrists side to side. No waist joint at all. And then you can move the legs forward only that much and back that much. And no, she does not have any peg holes at the bottom of her feet. Now these figures are advertised to stand 18 inches tall. Phasma over here is actually standing closer to 21, 22 inches. Then to get an idea how large this Captain Phasma is, here she is to NECA's Pacific Rim 18 inch Gypsy Danger. And then here's Captain Phasma compared to the STCC First Order Stormtrooper and she is gigantic in comparison. And then here's Captain Phasma next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Wow, that's a lot of woman. Come on, tell me you like shorter guys, huh? Dog, ah! Ah! Ugh, I'm in love. So I really wasn't expecting a lot from this figure. I do like it. It is my very first Captain Phasma figure, so I'm very happy to have it. I have an eye out there for the three three quarter inch one. I want to get that also. I don't know about the Funko Pop, but definitely gonna get the six inch Black Series version of Captain Phasma. If this had a waist joint, that would have just made the figure a whole lot cooler. Just really wish it had a waist joint. And Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here for more shart in your face. Check out the Patreon account if you like the stop motion. That really helps a lot. Thank you very much. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to JediInsider.com for the latest in Star Wars news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. on the mouth guard and everything look really... Man,